which are the scaphoid, is a bone which is deep inside the wrist. There are a number of small bones in the wrist. The scaphoid is um, the base of the thumb, uh, deep inside the wrist. And the, scaph the bones in the wrist have to move in a perfect um, arc of uh, motion. And if there's any disruption to the an anatomy of the wrist, the architecture of the wrist, this can cause pain and stiffness in the future. The issue with scaphoid fractures is this type of fracture is very common in young, young adults, patients in their 20s and 30s. And classically, this would be a fall on an outstretched hand, um, the same mechanism of injury that we see in a number of um, uh, fractures. However, this scaph the issue with the scaphoid fracture is that it's in young patients, it can be in sports, a great deal of sportsmen falling onto the hand, punching, we see this in boxers, we see this um, great in uh, football players, goalkeepers, um, any fall on an outstretched hand can break the scaphoid. The issue with the scaphoid is the scaphoid bone is extremely important. And if this bone does not heal in a perfect position, this can cause progressive stiffness and pain within the wrist. And even the wrist can become actually arthritic. You can develop what's called post-traumatic arthritis of the wrist. And in a young uh, um, adult, this can be particularly debilitating. And if um, this isn't picked up early enough, um, or treated early enough, then the bone is very, very difficult to get to heal. And the problem with the scaphoid fracture is often the initial x-rays, the fracture actually isn't seen. So these patients with a fallen and outstretched hand are often diagnosed as a wrist sprain and the injury can be missed. So a fallen and outstretched hand, um, painful wrist, tenderness in the area of the scaphoid need, um, needs to be investigated thoroughly and a scaphoid fracture needs to be treated aggressively. The vast majority of scaphoid fractures, if picked up early, can be treated in a plaster cast for between six and eight weeks, and most simple scaphoid fractures will heal. More problematic scaphoid fractures um, need actually to be operated on even immediately, since the blood supply to that area of the bone can be so compromised that even with the eight weeks in plaster, the chances of it healing would be um, very small so we tend to be more aggressive. There's also the issue of scaphoid fractures. We now can treat these fractures without actually opening the hand up, per what's called percutaneous techniques, by feeding a screw across the bone and, and immobilizing the bone. So in certain sports people, um, and certain young adults, particularly the self-employed, um, who work with their hands, um, they would prefer to have an extremely small procedure to get this fracture to heal rather than undergo um, eight weeks in plaster. But once, if the fracture is picked up early and treated aggressively um, in, in, in a, a suitable manner, you can get good union rates of these fractures and very satisfactory results. If the fracture does not heal, then and you have what's called a non-union or a cyst within the bone, a hole in the bone, a collapse of the bone, there are a number of techniques to treat this, but this becomes more complicated. Sometimes one has to bring in bone from elsewhere, lift up a piece of bone on its blood supply from elsewhere in the wrist, put that in the scaphoid and, and feed a screw across the scaphoid. Sometimes if there's been a collapse of a significant portion of the bone, then there's the option of taking bone from the hip or from the elbow to insert into the scaphoid. However, all of these operations are a great deal more complicated than if a scaphoid fracture is picked up early on and treated aggressively in either plaster or with a percutaneous fixation. So the scaphoid, um, the re the, um, scaphoid fracture can be problematic because it's physically not visible on the initial x-rays. So um, if there is a high clinical suspicion, then one would undertake other imaging, such as a CT scan or an MRI scan. Um, it can take a number of weeks for this fracture to be visible. And by then, if it's um, six, eight, 10 weeks down the line, months down the line, then this can be much more problematic. So these need to be um, um, thoroughly investigated and uh, aggressively treated.